What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Um, flying a lot this weekend, and my favorite movie to watch on planes is Youngblood because I, I have it downloaded on my iPad, and you know it's just like it's there. It's Rob Lowe, it's Patrick Swayze, it's Keanu Reeves, all around cast of beauticians there. Um, but I want to talk a few things about the movie. Obviously, one of the more underrated hockey movies. I think you can. Um, you know, attest to that. I, there obviously there are some ridiculous parts, but like you know, who gets caught screwing their coaches? Do I mean that's what happens in juniors? But I'll tell you, after being around Erie for a little bit, you know, you can kind of see the uh, the makeup of how junior hockey works. It's pretty cool to see it, in, you know, reality versus you know how it's portrayed in the movies. And um, you know, it, it's it's awesome. Um, and I believe it was Keanu Reeves' first movie, the former Chicago High School uh, goaltender. But I think I just want to talk about the players, Racky. Uh, Youngblood, and, uh, of course, uh, Patrick Swayze's uh, guy Sutton there, you know, just uh, obviously not the defensive play for the Thrashers, but, you know, Sway I thought Swayze was great. May, may Mr. Swayze rest in peace. Um, first off, uh, Racky is Dan Carcillo. I know the movie came out 20 years before Dan Carcillo put a shift in the show, but the bottom line is that that's who Racky is, is Carcillo. Just, he kind of just looks like him, plays like him, kind of goon out there. And, um, you know, Costello wasn't a bad score in juniors, I don't think. I'll look it up right now. But uh, I saw Racky. I mean, a couple nice little uh, couple goals in, in the Memorial Cup for the, the Thunder Bay. And, uh, you know, I just think, you know, you, you look at why Danny Costello plays the game. And, um, you know, you look at the um, the way Racky was out there. That's, you know, yeah. Uh, it's 59 points in 61 games. This is the second to last year with Sonia. Um, and then had some pretty good, you know, moments otherwise. Uh, Costello did in real life. Um, then now let's talk about, uh, Mr. Derek Sutton, Patrick Swayze's character. He's Mark Messier. You know, obviously, they talk about how, how dominant of a score he was. Um, you know, that's, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, Messier epitomized leadership. Uh, see, this is a weird thing with battle plays. Sometimes I get bored with shit, so I get analyzed fictitious hockey players. I mean, I did it with the Mighty Ducks. And, um, yeah, I'm doing it right now with the only ones. So that, that's, that's where I'm at in the, the creative cycle. But, you know, I just think if you watch the way Sutton play the game, you know, you can definitely see the, the Mark Messier in there. Uh, you know, able to facilitate and score goals and, you know, really create with, um, you know, with Speedy Winger. And the Speedy Winger question is, uh, you know, Dean Youngblood, Rob Lowe. Uh, it's Pat LaFontaine. That's that was the easiest comparison. The first time I saw that movie, I was like, "Oh, that's that's Pat Lafontaine right there." Um, I know Lafontaine played in the Q, and it's supposed to be the Ontario Hockey, the OHL. Um, but you look at the way Lafontaine was as a player. Um, I know he shot lefty. Oh no, he shot righty. On um, Lowe's character, shot righty. Both American kids playing up there in the um, in the in majors, and uh, you know both uh, you know kind of just absolutely dominating with speed to the outside and being able to. Um, you know, create and, and, um, you know, just make opposing players look very, 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 very foolish. And, uh, you know, you just look at the way Lowe played, Lowe's character played. You know, I don't know if they used a hockey double on it. They would have had to because there's no way Rob Lowe's not good at hockey. And then the fight with Racky at the end. That, the billet mother, because that's ridiculous. The screwing the coach's daughter, which is a no-go. I mean, you're just asking to get benched right there or, you know, worse. And then the, um... Again, and then the fight in Racky. There's no way Rob Lowe wins a fight against anyone. I love Rob Lowe, but, I mean, Jesus Christ, really? Rob Lowe beats Racky? So, not saying it. And the other thing is, um, the the sex scene was unnecessary, but, and then, I think it's funny, every time we watch it in the, on a plane, the scene where Rob, you see Rob Lowe's ass, that's off. Someone always looks over and says, no, I'm, I, it's young blood. I'm not a pervert like that. But, you know, again, Nowhere near, it doesn't touch Slapshot, which is obviously, you know, the, the highest of the high for hockey. It doesn't come near Miracle, which is, you know, just a slight wrong below it. But I can admit, if you want to get drunk and have a good time watching a movie, Youngblood's the way to go. You know, again, I, I think it's a, it's a very uh, entertaining movie. Obviously, it's going on 30 years old now. Um, and then the other thing is, like, an American kid getting that kind of shit in juniors, that was popular for us back then. I thought they portrayed that perfectly. I thought that was probably the most accurate thing. Uh, in the movie, it was an American, you know, a wet back on north of the border, um, you know, having to take his licks and, you know, prove himself amongst Canadians in their game. Um, yeah, that was, if there's one thing that they did perfect, I think that was, that was it. But, you know, that's just my two cents on the matter. And, um, yeah, I figured I'd talk about Youngblood for a little bit. 
Anyway, that's like sort of the power play with CJ um, talking about the movie Youngblood. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.